Uli, hi, welcome to hi, Skytrack. We're up here, uh, not in the uh, Skylab, but actually on the, on the roof. Uh, London's rooftops here <laughs> in the hot sun. Thanks for coming to see us. You're, uh, you're playing a gig tonight? Yeah, we're playing Hammersmith. Right, that's, that was it. And this is the beginning of your European tour? It's almost the beginning. We've done 10 gigs so far in England and Ireland. How are they going? Excellent, yeah. We were really, really pleased. Listen, now you, uh, you come from Dusseldorf in Germany, of course. And I guess a lot of people know you from the band The Scorpions. Mm. When were you playing with them? Um, from 73 to 78. That was in um, Hanover, though. We right. were based in Hanover. What happened? Why did you leave The Scorpions? Uh, it was kind of a predestined thing, you know. They wanted to um, go into the direction they're doing now, and I wanted to do electric sun music, you know. It was very, a very clear and uh, simple decision for, for me. Electric Sun doesn't have any firm members. You changed the lineup, and you've made what? This is your third album now today. We've had Earthquake and uh, Firewind, which That's were both right. very successful. And now we have uh, Beyond the Astral Skies. What, I mean, what, what, what is Electric Sun? Uh, electric Sun is, first of all, the music and the ideas. And um, it's just a congregation of friends playing, you know, like um, it's almost like a little orchestra, like people would come in and out for certain tours or albums, you know. But we do have a fixed stock of members, like um, Clive Bunker, he's mm -hmm. been with us for quite a while on drums. And um, now we've got two keyboard players, two singers. The lineup on stage kind of changes, you know, uh, and we like it that way. You, you, you disappeared for a few years there. What happened there? I mean, yeah, after Yeah, I had to. I had to. Oh yeah. Because. <laughs> um, Where did you go? It's well, I, I stayed in England, but it's a long story. Basically, I had to do a couple of law cases in order to get monies that were being owed to me without which I couldn't produce. Mm -hmm. So I ran out of money after producing these two albums and um, certain people owed me a lot of money, which I needed for, for keeping the band going and I couldn't do that, you know. So uh, it took me quite a while to set all this up and um, then finally um, I started again, you know, in England with um, a new management and with EMI. Right. You have a, a great new album out, like I just said, uh, Beyond Thank the you. Astral Skies, which is beautifully packaged. I don't know, I think some of our viewers are probably seeing it. It took us a long time to package it. Uh, the, the painting is done by Monica, um, and I really love that painting it's because beautiful. it's uh, what this record is all about. And um, it took us about a year to assemble it all. There's kind of a theme to the album, isn't there? Yes. Can you tell us a bit about that? Um, difficult to tell in one sense because yeah. it's many themes inter interwoven, you know. But uh, I was trying to create um, a unity between uh, lyrical content and music and ideas, you know. And um, so there's a thread running uh, through all the songs, um, but there is no actual story as such. You know, yeah. it's more a thread of ideas. They belong together, and um, all the songs are being molded in, into one unity, although they're all uh, separate and individual songs. You recorded the uh, album here in England? Yeah. Who, where sure. was that? Uh, eight different studios, would you believe it, yeah. Eight, eight different producers? No, I was the producer, but um, lots of different engineers. The reason was just um, I like working in different studios, because uh, I tend to, to go to stale in one place. And also, um, lots of um, um, different reasons, you know, which right. I can't explain now. You have here the guitar, which uh, mm. I guess you played on uh, Beyond the Astral Skies, which half you're using half. on tour. Yeah, Can I use it on tour a lot. Tell us a bit about the guitar. Well, we call it a sky guitar. <laughs> well done. Yeah, it um, fits the channel. And um, you had this, this is, this was built for you. It was built for me after my own design. And um, the reason why I designed this guitar was that I always used to play Fender Stratocaster guitars. And there were always certain things that I didn't like about them, like about all guitars, because they end here at this kind of fret, you know. And um, my guitars, my guitar solos demanded um, to go higher uh -huh. into the violin range, you know, the logic of the solos. So at one point, I just um, 
sat down and drew this guitar, which allows me to play much higher. In fact, I've got another one which has a violin neck at the top, so I can play as high as an, uh, any violin with it. That's why we call it the Sky Guitar. That's, I can't think of a better name myself. Uli, thank you very much for coming in. We're going I to play uh, the video now, The Night the Master Comes, which is the first single taken off uh, Beyond the Astral Skies album. Perhaps could you just introduce it for us? Um, we've just done it about one month ago. We did it in London, and we were trying to do something really new to um, make a, produce a video that's uh, where music um, gets complemented by the visuals you know, and uh, again to form a unity. So we were trying to bring all these nature elements in, uh, thunder and, you know, and forces of um, space, you know. Uli John, thank you very much. Let's have a look at the video now. Uli John Roth, Electric Sun, this is the night the master comes.